Alright, hey guys, so this week we're celebrating Sonic the Comics 21st anniversary, which is on May 29th, and in this video I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough of my Sonic the Comic collection. I'm not going to go into too much detail, otherwise this will uh, end up being a really long video. I'm just going to basically show you the issues and the free gifts that have come with the issues, as well as some of the spin-offs. Hopefully this video should help uh, anyone out there that's maybe after collecting some of the issues, that way you'll be able to see which ones you need, or maybe some of the free gifts that they're after. So we're going to get started straight away with uh, issue one. Issue one with the three Sonic stickers. Issue two with three Sonic the Comic badge. Uh, this is issue three which was the very first cover art for the artist uh, Ferran Rodriguez and the reason I bring that up is because I managed to get him to sign the front cover for me there which you can see there which is pretty cool. Issue 13 with a free Sonic the Comic belt clip. Issue 14 with a free Sonic Christmas decoration. Issue 23 with some free Eternal Champion stickers. Uh, issue 27. Uh, this issue is really special mate because this was actually the very first issue of Sonic the Comic I ever bought which was amazingly nearly 20 years ago. Uh, yeah, not only that it was pretty much the first piece of Sonic uh, memorabilia I ever uh, owned and what pretty much started me off uh, from being such a big fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog series. It's also one of my favourite strips inside being the, um, the Sonic Terminator. I think it was part 4 in this one as well. Uh, issue 29, kind of say, you can't really say it's a gift, but it, you've got a free uh, Kello Kellogg's uh, Frosties uh, competition on here to win some Sonic and Sega goodies. Uh, issue 34, which did come with uh, a free Sonic Panini sticker, sticker album. Uh, I don't have it with the comic here, but I do own a sticker album, and I'm pretty sure I own it nearly complete also. Uh, issue 35 which come with a free pack of Sonic Panini stickers and a little fun fact this was actually uh, Richard Elson's very first front cover for the comic also. Uh, issue 36 now these next few issues come with uh, a different set of Sonic stickers this is actually a set one that come with the comic it actually tells you which set you've got there on the side. Issue 37 with uh, set 2 of the Sonic stickers. Uh, this is also one of my favourite front covers from Richard Elson. I know it's maybe not the most um, the most on the front cover, but I really like the dynamic uh, poses between Sonic and Knuckles there. I know you can't really see him there behind the sticker, but I really do like this front cover. And I think this was actually Knuckles' um, first appearance on a Sonic the Comic cover. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is now. Issue 35 with set 3 of the Sonic stickers. Issue 39, set 4 of the Sonic stickers. Issue 40 with the final set of the Sonic stickers, set 5. Uh, issue 41, which is also a Christmas special, which was uh, a little bit more money, but it contained a larger issue with more uh, stories and stuff inside. And it also contained part 1 of the Sonic Badness spot cards, which was sort of like a Topps Trumps version of uh, Badniks. And here's uh, issue 42, which is also another Christmas special, and part 2 of the Bad Nick Spotter cards. Issue 45, which come with a free Sonic Valentine's card. Okay, we've come to the first landmark, issue 50 front cover, which has some free Sonic the Comic GAS tattoos which stand for gold and silver. Issue 51 which contains some more Sonic the Comic transfer tattoos. Issue 
Issue 58 with a free Sonic the Comic notepad. Issue 59 with some Sonic the Comic transfers. Issue 60 with some free uh, Champions card starter pack. Uh, issue 62 with kind of a free gift, which was a Mars Super Lamy. I think I've pronounced that right. Uh, visit to London, you can see there. Uh, issue 63 which contained a free sonic eraser and you can see I actually have two in there I have one attached to the comic and one loose uh, Sonic the comic issue 64 which contained a free sonic Halloween mask uh, Issue 71, which contained a free Sonic Valentine's Day card. Uh, Sonic the Comic Issue 2, which contains probably one of my favourite free gifts out of the Sonic the Comic History, which is a free scratch and sniff sticker, which still smells pretty strongly. Issue uh, 77, which contains a free Muller Kids Corner button cover. Mm. Issue 87, which contains some free Sonic the Comic stickers. Issue 95, which contained a really big orange Sonic Spinner. Issue 96, with a free Sonic badge. Uh, issue 97, which is also another one of my uh, favourite uh, front covers, especially one of my favourite Richard Elson covers. And you'll see another reason why if you uh, wait until you see part 2 of this video. The next landmark issue number being issue 100, which contains some free Sonic transfers. Uh, issue 106, which contains a free Dragonflies album and stickers, which is actually still uh, sealed in there uh, with the comic. Uh, issue 13, which came with a free set of Sonic stickers, which I have separately here. Issue 114, which came with a free Sonic ruler. Uh, issue 117, which came with some free Sonic space spinners. 118, which came with a free Sonic Christmas card. Issue 123 with a free Sonic keyring. Uh, issue 125 with a little fun fact there for you. This was actually the very first piece of Sonic the comic artwork that was uh, done in Photoshop. Uh, by the artist Richard Elson. Issue 127 with some free Sonic transfers. Issue 128 with a free Sonic badge. Uh, issue 133 with a free Sonic yo-yo. Issue 134 with a free Sonic bag tag. Uh, issue 137 with some free uh, Sonic Mega Bike stickers. Although unfortunately, I am missing three of them on there. 
Uh, issue 138 with a free Sonic Boomerang. Uh, issue 139 with some free Sonic Trainer Tags. Issue 141 with a free Sonic Maze game. Issue 143 with a free Sonic Space Dart. Uh, issue 149, which did contain some uh, glow in the dark Sonic stickers, that unfortunately mine are missing from this set. Issue 151 with a free Sonic badge. Issue 153 with a free Sonic bike badge. Issue 155 with a free uh, Ants bike fun pack. Issue 158 with a free Ambrosia Custard sticker. Issue 161 with free Star Wars stickers. Issue 165 with a free Sonic Whoopee cushion. Issue 170 with some free Sonic stickers. Uh, now we come to issue 184, which was the very last issue to feature a new uh, story uh, printed inside of it. Uh, not just that, I actually have mine signed by Nigel Dobbin at the top here and Nigel Kitchen is really awesome. Uh, issue 185. Now, for the next 29 issues, uh, they all were they all contained uh, reprint issues, which was uh, reprint stories from previous issues inside. However, they did all contain a new front cover from uh, Richard Elson. A uh, thing about these later issues is there wasn't as many printed as there were the older issues, which over time has made them quite rare and uh, valuable over time. And they usually do fetch uh, a bit of a pretty penny when you start seeing good conditioned ones with sets on, on eBay. Issue 186 with some free uh, FA Premier League 2000 stickers. Issue 191 with some free Sonic stickers. There was also two on the back. Issue 198 with uh, some more Sonic stickers. Another two also on the back. Issue 205 with some Sonic stickers, two more also on the back. Issue 206 with a free Sonic spinner. Uh, issue 209, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure what these are, it just says free gift. They're like little Sonic sort of pogs, the only sort of thing I can really say that they are. Issue 211 with a free Sonic postcard, and there's also another one on the back. Issue 213 with another free Sonic Flyer spinner. Issue 220 with a free Sonic badge.
And now we come to issue 223, which was the very last printed uh, issue of Sonic the Comic. And mine also does contain the free compass watch, which is pretty awesome. This is definitely one of the most uh, rarest issues out there to collect for. I haven't seen this one pop up that much at all on any of the uh, auction sites. Uh, also, in Summer of Sonic 2013, there was actually a, an exclusive Sonic comic issue uh, released for the 20th anniversary for it. Now, it says issue 261 there, but it's actually more like I'd say 224 because it's actually the only uh, official uh, comic that's actually ever been released since uh, Sonic the Comic finished. It's 261 because they're uh, continuing it from the... Um, the unofficial Sonic the Comic Online uh, that they do, uh, but this has actually got the covers actually by uh, Nigel Dobbin, and the um, story inside is actually wrote by a uh, longtime writer Nigel Kitchen. So this is really cool. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the uh, spin-off stuff that was uh, from Fleetway's Sonic the Comic. Starting with this one right here, which is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's Spin Attack. Sort of a bit like a graphic novel version of Sonic the Comic. It contained um, a lot of the early issues of uh, Sonic the Comic. And that's actually the front cover artwork for uh, issue one. Here's uh, Volume 2 from that, which was uh, Beats the Badniks. Now, I did mention earlier that I had the Sonic Panini sticker album from issue 34, and I do. It's actually attached to the back of it here. There was also a Streets of Rage graphic novel style uh, one done for the set, which featured a load of the Streets of Rage uh, story prints inside this one from Sonic the Comic. Uh, this is actually a Knuckles Knockout special, which was a sort of one-off special issue featuring all Knuckles stories. Uh, it was released in the summer of 1996. It's definitely one of the more rarer uh, comics out of these spin-offs from the Sonic the Comic. Uh, now we come to the Sonic the Comic Summer Special magazines. Now there was four uh, issues released uh, in the Summer Specials. Uh, this is issue one. This is uh, issue two, issue three, and the final summer special, this is the fourth issue one. Okay, now these are the Sonic the Poster Mags. These were released uh, pretty early on into Sonic the Comics Life. It basically features a giant poster inside as well as uh, one story print. These are probably some of the most uh, harder to get items from the Sonic the Comic line. Uh, there was also nine uh, issues released for this set. Okay, issue two. Issue three. Issue four. Issue five. Issue 7. Uh, now we come to issues 8 and 9 from Sonic, the poster mag. Uh, I know I said that the poster mags are rare, but these two issues are without a doubt the rarest uh, items from the poster mag, and I'd probably actually say the rarest from the entire Sonic the Comic uh, library. Uh, poster mag 9 took me years before I managed to get hold of one. Uh, I only actually managed to get it recently, sometime last year. But uh, this is uh, issue 8, and this one's pretty special because this one's actually signed by uh, Nigel Kitchen, who was the artist's front cover for this issue. And here it is, this is Poster Mag issue 9. Definitely, the, I would definitely say this is the rarest out of the entire Sonic the Comic uh, library, without a doubt. Uh, there was also an Eternal Champions special released from the Sonic the Comic featuring uh, a load of Eternal Champions uh, story prints inside. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it from my uh, Sonic the Comic issue collection, guys. Uh, if you've got any uh, queries on how to care and store these comics, I have a few tips that I can certainly share. First of all, sleeves and backing boards. Uh, there's a site out there called Comical Games. I'll put a link in the description. They're a UK based website, but they do also ship worldwide. And they supply sleeves and backing boards that will fit your uh, Sonic the Comics. Which 
should be like this, which really keeps them and will will, will keep them in pristine condition. Uh, storage boxes, these size boxes are pretty commonly available to get off of eBay and they do a great job of storing your comics. I think they roughly hold about uh, 140 I think uh, issues of Sonic the Comic and they do a great way of keeping them in great condition. I'd recommend having these comics stored upwards like this so you don't get any damage to the spines and it will keep them in that really great awesome condition that you uh, obviously going to want to keep them in. Uh, if you're a collector for these and you're out there trying to collect these sets, the only place I can really recommend is just eBay and just biding your time and checking on there frequently for Sonic the Comics. Issues seem to pop up on there for quite commonly, although the rarer ones not so much, but if you keep an eye out, it's, it's certainly feasible to uh, complete your collection on there, just it might take some time. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it guys for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I know quite a lot of my subscribers on my channel are Sonic the Comic fans, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep a lookout for part two, as in that video I'm going to show you my definitely my most favourite uh, Sonic the Comic, and actually Sonic Arms I would say, and most rarest being my Sonic the Comic original artwork collection. And uh, also another couple of uh, more unique and rare bits from Sonic the Comic. Because I only really wanted to focus on the, uh, the issues in this video. So yeah, that video will be up very soon. Uh, until then, here's looking out for Sonic the Comic's 22nd anniversary. Thanks guys, and see you soon.